Hello and welcome back to my channel. We are A&M Hobby Farm. I'm Melissa and this is my daughter Zeta. Um, we have three boys and one daughter and this is our only daughter. She's 19 and she has been hatching chicks. And so we did a grocery shop shopping haul today, but we're going to add in her chick. She wanted to show this one. And what is this one? Uh, a Brahma Americana mix. So the Brahma was the mom and the Americana is her rooster. And she's excited. She's been hatching. She's been like crossbreeding her stuff. And it's got little feathers on its feet. And that's what she's most excited. So she wanted to show that one. And so far you've hatched how many this week? Or in the last 20, two days? 25 including those two. And this is our hatcher up here. We're actually using or our incubator. We're actually using our incubator the heat from it. Because I've got my, I had my pepper plants on it. But since they've been hatching we just got next to it. And it actually, like I use the heat of it to help germinate those. Okay, so we're going to go through... The grocery haul, and if you hear the chick, she wants to stay out here and watch me do this. So the chick's going to be in the video, and, or you'll be hearing the chick in the video. Uh, we also went to Shipshawana on the road yesterday um, with my sister and one of my friends and my daughter, and it was at a casino. And so I've got a few of the things from the Shipshawana on the road that we got and um, an antique shop. And so I'm going to show those things with you. I'll share those first, and then we will go through what I bought at Myers. Okay, so I'm going to turn you around here. Okay, so we'll start with this. I found this. It is like a coat hanger thing. It's all metal, but I love these. And I have a bunch of uh, antique and, well, some of them are antique and old, but a lot of them um, aprons. And I love aprons, so this is going to be my new hanger for them. I currently have like a rolling pin thing. And the rolling pin sits there, and then the, they're under it. Um, I picked up this bag. I went to Shipshawana unprepared, did not have a bag. They had these, like, almost immediately when you walked in. And I was like, you know what, let's just grab one. Good thing I did. We filled that thing. Um, there was somebody who had sugar gliders. <clears throat> so if anybody watches this and you have sugar gliders, we would be interested to hear. in Because they're trying, trying to tell us, like, how easy it is and how great it is and how much cheaper it is. And we're seriously considering this, but these are like an investment animal. They're, they're rather expensive. And so if you have one or have experience with one, we'd love to hear about it. Uh, cause we are actually considering getting one of these. I found this, um, we buy storage units and sell stuff online. I found this blue can, this blue ball canning book. Um, I'm keeping this. I was in love with it. I was like, Oh my goodness. I try not to keep much of the stuff and sell it off. And then it's got a bunch of like handwritten recipes and stuff in there. And I love having stuff like that. I've got a I don't know, I'm going to say like probably 400 cookbooks easily between my basement, my garage, and my kitchen. So um, I picked this one up at the, they have like antique booths and things like that. Um, and then we went into an antique shop and I got this and I got the Herbal Home Remedy book. Um, one, of, one of the booths there. So these are just like some headbands and I, I love wearing headbands. I wear them all the time to work. So I have the tie-dye one for me. Or my daughter got the tie-dye one for me. The snakeskin for her. And then these earrings. And the people that are selling them, they've, you know, they've got their name on there or whatever. But we were looking at them and we found them and they were super cute. And so we got them. And then we're walking by the rest of the booth, which we had, because it was by five for, how much was it? Five for what? Five for 20. And so we had got our five things paid, didn't look at the rest of the stuff. And realized we have a lot of the earrings that they have for sale. And we went and I went and looked on the app and all those ones are too. And so they're actually from Sheen, which is a Japanese company or a Chinese company, something like that. Um, I'm not sure which one. Chinese. Chinese. Okay. Um, sorry. I, sometimes I get, I current, I work in a factory and so I work for a Japanese company. And then sometimes I just say that slips out. Okay. So there was a Tupperware dealer. Anybody who's actually been in my house or knows much about me knows that I have an obsession with Tupperware. Since my kids were little, I have always had Tupperware cups, Tupperware bowls, all of their mixing bowls, their thatsa bowls. And then most of my cooking supplies are Pampered Chef. Um, now, we've had kids for, my, our oldest is 21. So this is not something that has accumulated and I just, bam, started my kitchen out with all these really nice products. Like, this is something that I've worked years to do but their bowls it's four you get the lids these work great for leftovers um they're we, i call them cereal bowls i'm not sure exactly what they're what they actually are um 
But my kids sometimes tend to lose them because they don't care how much you pay for things. They will spend whatever they want. And then I got a few more cups. Um, there was a fudge shop. I did open the fudge. There was some, they were making fudge on their own. They, we got a cake, a cookies and cream, and then two of the ultimate peanut butter. And then the South Bend Chocolate Company was there. And um, there was a chocolate covered cherry in here that I did eat. The white one is chocolate covered Oreos. That, a white chocolate. Then there's milk chocolate covered Oreos. And then the little squares are all peanut butter covered chocolate squares. And then the other thing that I picked up was this wind chime with a dragonfly. And then it almost looks like the wings on them are uh, sunflowers or I'm going to assume sunflowers, but it looks cute. So I love wind chimes. I got one of those. Okay. Oh, and then the last thing I got is the rainbow blend um, popcorn. So we are new to shopping with Azure and our first order the first time I was going to put an order in, a few, quite a few of the things that I wanted were sold out. So I just, I did not get it. Um, I didn't order it. I was like, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait. I've really been trying to get a hold of the rainbow blend popcorn. And then there was like some cases of things I wanted. Anyways, so this time when I went, or this last month when I went in and looked, they had a ton of the stuff. I got almost everything I wanted. The peppers, um, there's not going to be any peppers. I've already got that email. And then the rainbow popcorn, there's not going to be any of that. But quite a few of the other things. So I will show that stuff when I get it. Um, probably later this week. Okay, so we're going to get into the shopping haul for um, Myers, So that my son can have his peppermints or his Altoids. He, he's been waiting on those. Um, <clears throat> a few of the things my kids asked specifically for. I'll let you know what those are. This right here, it's already been opened. Um, the peachy pineapple juice. We've never bought this. My husband saw it, wanted it. And I was like, hey, wait till I do the video. Like I literally lay everything out and then I do the video real quick and then we take care of everything. He was not waiting. He had to have it. So he's already opened that and he does like it. It's, he says it's good. I will not drink it because it's got a lot of sugar and I've had the bariatric surgery and a lot of sugar things uh, tend to make me not feel well. I got a thing of hair bands. Uh, I keep breaking them. My hair fell out after the surgery. That is my biggest, the biggest thing about this surgery that I had is my hair fell out. I'm sorry, I'm hoarse from traveling. It was a four hour drive to Shipshawana and I talked the whole time because I had my best friend with me and my sister and my daughter and I did not shut up <laughs> the whole time. So I'm, I'm hoarse, not used to talking that much. Okay, we got two things of shave cream, one for men and for women. I swear I just bought shave cream and I couldn't find it. So um, it's probably in a cupboard lost. I'm not going to lie. I got two things of the Premier Protein Shakes. I usually order this on Amazon, um, but when I looked at my Amazon order, it is not coming. They are sold out. So I got two things. They were buy one, get one, 30% off. I would have bought more if they would have had more because I'll go through a case of it every two or three weeks. I drink a lot of the times one a day, and some days I will drink two a day, and I mix them with the Blonde Roast Coffee, and I did buy some of those. Um, I bought some cough drops to help my throat feel better they did not have this was the only kind of hauls that they had so i got some of the cherry meyer brand and then one thing of the hauls um my son is on one of my one of my sons was on spring break last week but he doesn't get up in the morning for breakfast so i didn't bother cooking him breakfast every day but logan my 14 year old is on spring break this week and he will get out of bed every morning for breakfast and so my husband wants me to cook breakfast and i am the only one in the house that will eat the corned beef hash but if I have to come home from work, because I work third, and cook breakfast every morning, I'm going to cook something that I want for me. And it's not the healthiest, and I don't care because I don't eat this, but only a couple times a year. And I wanted it. I got two packs of Raymond noodles. We don't. This is not something that we typically buy either, um, but my daughter likes them. She cooks them in the microwave. And we're doing pork chops either tonight or tomorrow. And we will eat these, and I like these with the pork chops. I'm not sure why. I just They taste good. Uh, we got three different boxes of crackers for our lunch stuff, for our my husband's and my, um, like our lunchable lunches that we make. And then we got the club crackers. Um, Logan wanted some Captain Crunch. And then I found a few things on clearance. So I was going to buy baking powder, and then I found this Red Mill baking powder, and it was on clearance for 40% 40, 40 off, so it was only $2.15 for this. 
And the expiration is January of 2024. So, because I, I kind of worry about that. When I find something on clearance, I'm like, ooh. But for 2024, I mean, that's for like pretty much two years out. So, um, that was a good price on that, I think. Um, The cheese was on clearance for $1.75. And then Swiss cheese, we love Swiss cheese on our sandwiches, and it was on clearance for $1.91. That was all I got for clearance stuff. Oreos were on sale, I don't remember the price, the two for something. I'll show the uh, receipt at the end like I always do. I got Daisy sour cream, a three-pack of the Velveeta, and then my cold brew coffee to go with my protein shakes. I got four packs of the cream cheese. They had a limit on two but the recipe that I'm cooking this week, I needed four. And so I bought four. It is what it is. I'm not going to go back to the store and buy two tomorrow. And I'm not going to do two checkouts just to buy four. So um, Zeta asked for the Minute Maid apple juice. We got her a six pack. I was looking for grapes. The regular grapes didn't. These ones are a little more expensive. But the regular ones, they didn't look great. They were kind of brownish and stuff. And so I grabbed these ones. Um, the two pounds of lunch ham for Logan. Uh, clementines, I put these in mind to my husband's lunches. Mayonnaise, I only buy this every once in a while. I'm the only one in the house that eats mayonnaise. I got four salad cucumbers, two things of onions. I like to cut the little chives or the ends of them off and use for cooking. And then I will use one package of the cream cheese um, with the ham for that. The tomatoes, because this is something I get all the time. Love those ones. Uh, unicorn cakes, these are something new. Um, my daughter used to like like fun kinds of cakes and stuff and we haven't bought them in a while so i bought these and then the cosmic brownies and the fudge rounds i got uh hickory smoked boneless ham um we got this for easter it was they're normally 3.99 a pound and they were 2.99 a pound if i find them on sale again i will pick up another uh another ham excuse me We got jelly bird eggs, the black licorice. My husband's the only one that eats those. And then the coconut. <laughs> Zeta, you want to come do this? <laughs> okay, so lost my voice. <laughs> it snuck away on me. Okay, so we'll finish the video, hopefully, and finish it up. Okay, so we got these three drinks. Um, we're doing, uh, they want, we, the, my husband wanted to try them, so we got all three of the kinds. We've never gotten them before. Keep seeing them, and I was like, you know what, let's get them. Got these two containers. Um, these are my son's favorite mints. He's been asking for them, but I couldn't find them last, last week, so we got them this week. This was on sale. It was a six-pack. I only needed one, but I figured six-pack, it's on sale. I'm going to grab it. We got three of the pie crust. I'm going to do um, chicken pot pie with um, two of them. We're going to top and bottom ones. And then the other, the third set, I'm going to make two quiches because we have had a ton of eggs coming in. I got an eight pack of the Yoplait yogurt, four of the strawberry, and four of the strawberry banana. Andrew asked for the hot fudge Sunday pop tarts, so I got him a package of those. I got two packages of saltine crackers. Two packages of hot dog buns, two packages of bagels, two packages of regular bread, two packages of Texas toast, a thing of Doritos, on the border chips, and then the Korean pork rinds. All right, so that is all for the grocery haul. Um, the only other thing is um, my stepmom found this in the storage unit today um and she brought this in for me i uh i collect pyrex um in some of my videos you see them in the background when i'm talking so like when i'm talking like this sometimes you can see um i've got like my pinks and my turquoises over here um i'd like to find the full set of each one but for now i pick up what i can where i can and then if we turn around over here, you'll see I've got the brown sets. Um, that's a Fiesta Wear picture. I just thought it was pretty cool. And then I've got a few more of the brown ones. And then um, in my basement, if you've seen 
the uh, video, excuse me, if you saw the video where I did the pan, where I showed off my pantry and stuff, um, there was a shelf that has, there's some pieces of Pyrex on it and there's also some glass bake uh, that people pick up for me and they find them and they think they're cool and so I put them down there. Um, eventually I would like to, so I've got these, so how my cupboards are over here and they're, they've got the empty space. My kitchen is a mess, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so you could see how it's all enclosed all the way around. Over through here, it's all cluttered. I I keep things on top of my refrigerator and our planner. and <laughs> um, So I'd like all that taken out. And the plan is to put all of the Pyrex by color up there and have a full set. So like I've got the browns, I've got these, I bought these stands. I like the stands. Um, they work well. So like... Because if I put them up high, I'll stop storing stuff inside of them. So, like, I've got, I, this is our um, A&M Hobby Farm stamp. This is what I put on my egg cartons. But um, they have these things inside of them. And uh, it helps stack them so that they look stacked and, like, you can see what's going on in them. So, like, when you have them up, you put a, put these things together. And then you put it inside the bowl, and then you're able to stack another bowl on top of it, and it keeps them lifted up off of each other. I found those on Amazon. And I also found another set on eBay. Um, check either or. They're just like, I just Googled um, inserts for Pyrex dishes display. And I found these. These are... Um, these are 3D printed. The ones that are on the top of the cupboard, those were like black metal stands. Um, I found those ones on eBay. But these ones, are uh, they're 3D printed and I found these on Amazon. I don't believe how much they were. It was a couple years ago that I got them. Um, but they, cut, they came with the little pieces of rubber on them to help keep your bowl from getting scratched up by any of it. And... I have white, I also have pink ones and blue ones and black ones just for all the different sets that I have. I've been collecting them if I find them every once in a while. I've never come across them at thrift stores or anywhere else. If I ever do, I will pick them up. But for now, I just buy them on Amazon as I get sets. All right, so thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry about the messy kitchen. No, like it's a reality. I live in a house. At least my dishes were clean. They're just on the counter drying. <laughs> All right, have a good day and thank you for watching. Goodbye. All right, so I uh, was sitting here adding this to the back of the video. I forgot that I did not show the receipt. Um, so it says our total savings um, was $95.92. Uh, and then, like, these are, I just go down slowly and show you, like, our prices that we paid, what it was. Um, I did buy, like... Some feminine products. I did not show those in the video because I don't really feel like people want to see that. I don't really care. <laughs> um, but we paid $279.88 um, after we had uh, bought everything. But that was it. I just wanted to make sure I put that in there. I uh, typically do at the end. And then today I had, for some reason, forgotten. So I just add that. I uh, not done finishing take care of everything. Not done taking care of everything, about to finish that up. But I seen the receipt sitting there and I was like, yep, I uh, definitely want to add that for you. So thank you if you made it this far um, through me losing my voice a couple of times and trying to figure out how to get it to work again. But so thank you and um, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.